Welcome to our homestead. Welcome again. Thank you to everyone who's coming back to see what our next steps are. I know our friends and family are always out there watching us to see what's going on. And in this video, very exciting, got our solar set up all set up and running. We are looking forward to the day that we get to bring the RV on. So continue watching in this video to see whether or not that gets to happen or if we wait for water to get that to happen. So enjoy the video. We'll see you at the end. What's today? Today we're heading out to grab the rest of the dirt for our water tank. Crackle dust. Crackle dust. And fun times, all the solar stuff for our solar array. Yay. It's about four hours on the road just for the solar stuff, but you know, that's all right. We'll, we'll have a good that. day. And then probably more hours than that installing it. Oh, many. For sure. Yeah. And an electrician. And a Sparky. Yes, need to find a Sparky. So big day ahead. Stay tuned. Ta-da! decide to go off-grid, you go with the guys who know off-grid living and how to get it all done. Here to pick up our solar. So the day we decide to bring our bank of batteries home for our solar stuff. Doesn't it decide it's a good day to rain? But of course, we got them home safe and sound. It rained pretty good, of course, just as soon as we got here. But our battery bank is safely in our little container and it didn't really get all that wet. This is our solar setup. This board was built by a company in Bundaberg. They had not specifically made it for us, they'd actually just pre-made it. Um, because people generally buy them and we are proof because we just walked in and bought it. Um, I put the solar panels on the roof, the wiring comes in through here into a isolator 
so you can disconnect the panels from the board. They then run into our charge controller and then out of the charge controller through into the inverter and then the inverter runs into our battery bank. Each of these cells are 4 kilowatts with a base and a top, so this is a 12 kilowatt system. It is expandable up to 256 kilowatts. Um, so then I had an electrician come in after I mounted this board and he actually put in the isolator here, he put in the fuse box here, he put in two double 10 amp power points. This is the inlet for a generator should we ever run out of sun and need power. We can plug our generator in there. Then this one here runs outside where we have um, weatherproof 10 amp and 15 amp to power water and the RV. Down here we have a touch screen. Right now we're at 88% battery. We're pulling almost 2 kilowatts out of the sun and we're using almost 2.9 kilowatts but that's because the Tesla's on charge. Um, this is also hooked up to the internet via this little thing here so we can monitor from inside our RV and keep an eye on what's going on. We have nine 370 kilowatt panels that I installed on the roof giving us 3.3 kilowatts at full sunlight and I have at times checked that when the sun is bright at up to 3.8 kilowatts that we're pulling. Um, this can be expanded to take another three panels um, for this charge controller and should we want to expand from that which we will after the house is built we can just add more four kilowatt battery cells and either get a larger or a second inverter and same thing with the charge controller so this system is fully upgradable by just adding to it. So one of the reasons why we got it, so this is enough for us for right now. And then as our power needs increase, when we have more stuff, we can just add to it so that we have more than we need. So in one of the beginning videos, when we were clearing the land, I had mentioned that every day that we came out to the land here, we would have to drive back and forth. It was about a half hour drive to get to the RV park. And so it was a full hour of driving every day to be able to come out here to the land. And we were really hoping to be able to get both the water and the power set up before we actually brought the RV out to the land. Uh, it didn't end up happening that way. <laughs> How often do things actually go the way they're supposed to? It didn't happen that way. It did happen about a week earlier than it was supposed to. The RV park was just full and didn't have any more spaces for us to be able to continue extending our stay because we'd been, I'd been going to the office, do you have another week? Do you have another week? <laughs> and eventually it got to the point where we couldn't. So three days before our solar got completed, we ended up pulling it onto our land and being able to call this place home finally. For three nights, we did turn on the generator just for five hours between the hours of, of about 5 and 10 p.m. just to take the chill off the air with the heater inside the RV. But it was only going down to about 14, 15 degrees at night. So we were warm enough while we were sleeping. But yes, it's nice to finally have the RV on the land, call this home. So happy to be here. 
I must say that out in the middle of nowhere in the country, some of these videos are hard to make. The birds are really loud and they don't like to listen to me when I ask them to shh while I make these. So if any of these birds are really, really loud, they just don't listen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. It was so nice to get the solar up and running and know that we now have that as much as the sun will give us anyway at our disposal. It'll be interesting to see how much we go through battery wise and also how quickly it charges back up to its 100% uh, when we have used it. So that'll be fun to fun to watch over the next uh, month, well, a few weeks, months, year um, to see what do we use? What do we use it on? What takes what when it's actually plugged in and running? So obviously the big things are the kettle. If we have to run the heater in the RV, which we shouldn't right now, but how much do all those things take? How much does it take to charge a phone? You know, you, these little things that we never think about. So that'll be fun. But yeah, it's so nice to just live here, get up in the morning, go outside, do what we want to do. And then we can just sit down under the awning and enjoy the day if we want to. And have our coffee and listen to the birds and it's lovely so yes um thank you ever so much for subscribing press the little bell if you want to know when our next videos come out and for liking our videos we appreciate each and every one of you and yeah look forward to the next video cheers